September is finally here, and with it, Spyro's 25th anniversary. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe that it's been over two decades since the Purple Boy made his debut on the PS1, and there's a lot of things that happened within that time. Some good, some odd, and some actually pretty good, despite some redesign choices. So, to celebrate the occasion, the official Spyro Twitter <coughs> X account, sorry, but that still sounds so wrong, either way, the official Spyro account tweeted this, kicking off our special Spyroversary month with an extra special celebration. Shout out to the Spyro community for hitting this huge milestone. And, as you can see in the image, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy sold 10 million copies since its release in 2018, which was five years ago. Again, time flies. And while we don't know the sales numbers for any of the games that came after the original trilogy, but if we compare Reignited sales to that of the original trilogy, the originals surpass Reignited's. However, I feel that's a bit unfair given those original game sales numbers were published in 2007, 7 to 10 years after each game's respective release dates, compared to Reignited's 5 years. But it is worth pointing out that in 2019, the Crash Insane Trilogy did manage to sell 10 million copies in just under 2 years. Which is understandable, cause Crash has always been more popular than Spyro. There's no denying that, especially if you've noticed how many Crash games we've gotten compared to Spyro since they were brought back. It's hard being a Spyro fan sometimes, I tell ya. But in addition to changing their profile icon and Twitter banner to celebrate, well, Spyro's 25th anniversary, the Spyro Twitter account also announced that the entire Reignited Trilogy's soundtrack is now available on Spotify. So if you want to go listen to that, I will leave a link to it in the description below. In addition to these celebrations, Crash Team Rumble's first season will end on September 14th with the full release of Engine. And as you probably noticed, I did not make a video for Engine's release, uh, because a lot of things happened all at once, so yeah. No engine video, unfortunately, but I did really enjoy engine's gameplay. So with that in mind, why am I bringing up Crash Team Rumble in regards to Spyro's 25th anniversary? Well, as you know, what happens with Crash happens with Spyro. And that leads me to Engine's comic that was released the day before Engine actually released, in early access anyways, but on the very last page of the comic, we see a tease for Ripto, as he says, well, well, looks like someone forgot to invite me to the party. And of course, any Spyro veteran will tell you that this is Ripto's introductory line from Spyro to Ripto's Rage. And also, another quote by Ripto was said by Engine on the same page, by making reference to the world's smartest pile of ashes, which is what Ripto said to the professor toward the end of Spyro 2. So you know that Spyro is definitely going to have some sort of presence along with Ripto in the second season, but given the rate at Toys for Bob is releasing new characters for Crash Team Rumble, I wouldn't go expecting Spyro or Ripto happening in the same month of September, so I would imagine that both characters would be spread out over the next three months. And to wrap up the video, let me just make it clear so nobody can get their expectations too high, but I'm not expecting Spyro 4 to be announced by the end of the month, despite the Spyro Twitter mentioning the month-long celebration of, uh, well, what they're calling the Spyroversary month. So I just want to make that clear, and with that said everyone, that's the quick little Spyro update I've got for this video, but rest assured if anything else major pops up for Spyro within the month, I will be sure to get another video out ASAP. 
But in the meantime, what do you think about this, and what do you think we'll be seeing from Spyro during this Spyroversary month? Uh, be sure to leave everything down in the comments section below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for more Spyro and Crash updates when they happen. And once again, I've been Blue Knight. Thank you guys so much for watching and for the constant support. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys back here next time.